Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today I'm bringing you guys another amazing video. <laughs> Obviously, because all my videos are amazing, guys, right? But before this video starts, I just want to put out a couple announcements like I do for every video, apparently, now. First of all, I have a gaming channel, right? I'll upload probably like once a week, maybe, because again, this Cartoon Apocalypse is my main channel. Nothing will replace it at this point in time. So, don't worry about anything like that. We have like almost 50, I think. 50 subscribers. So, yeah, thanks for supporting that channel, I guess. If you guys want to see more content, subscribe to that channel. <laughs> now, I just want to say before I start this video that this is actually suggested by Sunset and Starlight, our best waifu. They say, hey, Aiden, also, I just got an idea for a video. What is Eclipse's true plan? Now, thank you for suggesting this comment. Everyone show them some love because they are the whole reason why we have this video, so thank you. But today's video is Eclipse's true plan. Now, this video will probably be a very, like, a longer video because a lot of you commented and a lot of you, your ideas and comments are pretty long, so this will probably be a really long video. <laughs> but without further ado, let's start off with Alex Kingston. If I pronounce your name wrong, I'm sorry. I think Eclipse will sympathize for her daughter upon meeting her for the first time. However, I believe before that happens, Eclipse's true plan possibly to give the monsters their rightful place in Muni. Before the settlers came in, it was the monsters who had ruled. Eclipse was also married to a monster, so it's possible that the Mumins may have done to her, plus anyone else that she cares for, and all has left an impacting mark upon her. It's technically unforgivable for her, I bet. Not only that, in order to achieve this, monsters reaching their rightful position, Eclipse would have to rule the crown of Muni. Since she is technically alive, that makes her queen, theoretically, yet Moon wields that position. For now, I can only assume Eclipse's true plan lies within becoming the queen, a priority that is required in order to achieve their true intentions. At Aiden. Now thank you Alex for your amazing comments and ideas. I'm not actually going to talk too much about them because there's a lot to go through. <laughs> I don't want this video to be like a 30 minute video like some of my other ones have been. I mean, you guys might like it, but I don't think you'd be interested in my videos for that long. I mean, uh, tell me if you're wrong. But <laughs> but yes, I do think that Eclipsa believes in equality for all monsters and humans. Because, I mean, she did marry a, a monster that we know of. So, I mean, it makes sense that she'd care for him and care for the equality. Now, this next one is from hashtag Darren and Eve sees evil or otherwise known as Eagle Builder Animation. At Aiden, although the writers have been setting Eclipsa as a misunderstood soul, the dark stories about her had to have come from somewhere. Plus that all knowledge is good knowledge comment from her in Sweet Dreams just gave me that uneasy feeling. I believe that she is just bidding her time in the castle slowly but surely earning Star's trust, as it has been more than hinted that Star is the most powerful member of the family to date. So that when Eclipsa does reveal how evil she can be, which I expect will happen in the season finale, she will attempt to bring the Butterfly's Kingdom heir to her side. Now thank you, Eagle Builder, for your awesome comment. I mean, I think it's either she's evil or she's good. I don't think there's any in-between. So I think that either this is going to happen or something else is going to happen. I mean, something else completely different could happen, like an eagle could come in and soar and be like, ah, or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. But, but yeah, thanks for your comment, Eagle Builder. On to the next one. Now this next one is from Fireball at Aiden. I think that Eclipse's true intentions are to trick Star into becoming very strong in magic by mentoring her and then teach her a spell that would bring back her husband which I think is Toffee. I can't really explain the whole way that her husband used to hold her thing, but I think that there could be a reasonable explanation for it. Meteora's transformation into a lizard, knowing that she is an offspring of Eclipsa and a monster, must mean that Eclipsa married a lizard, Toffee in parentheses. I also see Toffee fighting humans because they crystallize his wife. If you read this, thank you so much, I love your channel. Thanks, Fire Dude. I love your comments. Now, Fireball actually had another picture that he attached to it, or she, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Sorry for assuming. But, I mean, does that hand look like reptilian to me? I mean, that, that looks like more of a bird or fur to me. I don't know, I could be completely wrong, but that's just, it just screams like fur to me. I'm not exactly sure, but you know what? It's, I, I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments, I guess. <laughs> now this next one is from Jario Ubable. Garcia, 
Now, I, 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 I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I have no idea how to pronounce your name, so I, I don't know how to pronounce it, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but thank you for your comment, I'm gonna read it now. Eclipse's true intention is to control Star, so that she could gain all the power that sh Star has. So she could gain all the power that Star has, and then could defeat Moon and take over Muni. That's my opinion. I love your opinion. Yeah, I love all of your guys' opinion. <laughs> I think a lot of people are thinking that she'll take over Muni, and then a lot of people are thinking that she won't. I think her main goal is to get the monsters to be on the side of Mumins. That it's more of like trying to get them both to cooperate, which Star is obviously trying to do. And I think that that is was Eclipse's main goal. But you know, I could be completely wrong. I, I don't know. Maybe she's a secret monster. Ooh, what if what if that's what if she's secretly a monster or something? I, I don't know. Anyway, on to the next one. Now this next one is from Jericio Galare Do. I, I I know I pronounced your name wrong, and I'm super sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. All right, <laughs> tell me how to pronounce in the comments or something. I don't know. They say my idea. Eclipse is trying to somehow rule the kingdom again with the help of Meteora, of course. And this might not even be relevant because I think Eclipse was the one who killed her demon husband, or was forced to. The reason for that is because Eclipsa has the same black hands like Moon when she casts the spell to kill an immortal, and maybe the people Muni kidnapped Meteora and exchanged her for Eclipsa would have to kill her beloved husband, and that's why I think she will want to rule Muni over again. One more idea, she is trying to resurrect her husband with the help of her child. Remember the garden that she showed Star to must have been where she buried the body and is waiting for the blood of the demon clan Meteora to be resurrected. And remember the secret doors that Eclipse opened the painting? Maybe there's an entrance to the fountain leading there to her dead husband's body. That's my ideas, little uh, smiley face thing. P.S. I love Star even though I'm 17 years old and a boy at that. Don't worry man, we're not judging you. Cartoons are for everyone. <laughs> now I don't necessarily think that Eclipse's hand signals are just for casting the killing of the, the, the call of the darkness upon the me spell, right? I don't think that it's just limited that. to that. I think it's uses of big amounts of dark magic. Now your counter that, to that might be, oh, well, Star hasn't gotten any or Marco because they use the all-seeing eye. Well, the all-seeing eye doesn't use too much dark magic. It's just considered as dark magic. That's my theory about that. So, or my idea about that, I guess. Might not be a theory, but anyway, thank you for your comment, and on to the next one. Now this next one is from at Morpher, at Aiden. My thoughts on Eclipse's plan, based on the inferred events in the show. I would say that she isn't planning something so much as helping it move along. Eclipse was likely trying to change the system back in her time by going off with a monster lover and having a child. However, that did not pan out at all. She was crystallized before anything else could be done, and now that she is free, and Star is trying to do what she was likely trying to do back then, it seems that Eclipse realizes this and is trying to help move Star towards the end. So if there is a plan, then it's simply to help Star accomplish what she couldn't do herself a long time ago. Eclipse is very good at influencing situations as we have seen how her suggestions have influenced Star to act on her behalf, to a degree. Now thank you more for it seems to be a common theme that people are saying, yeah, I think that Eclipsa is trying to equal out Muni again and have monsters and humans be equal. Honestly, that might I think that's one of the things that I'm thinking too, is that she was trying to make everything equal again. So yeah, on to the next one. Now this next one is from Noah Pang, if I pronounce your name wrong, I'm sorry. Honestly, we don't really know Eclipsa that well. She was supposed to be an evil queen, but who really knows? We don't have any information on how she acted when she was a queen a long time ago. She seems nice to Star and Moon when they first meet her. I really know what caused Moon to change her mind about Eclipsa. In my opinion, there are two possible outcomes. One is that Eclipsa is trying to help Star and is trying to become a free woman again. The other is that she is manipulating everyone around her and tr is trying to take back the kingdom which is truly hers, Muni. She might be trying to get Star on her side because she s can sense how powerful Star is and how useful she could be while taking back Muni for herself. Personally, I would like to believe that Eclipsa is not trying to take back Muni, but I think the more likely thing to happen is Eclipsa using Star to take back Muni. After all, she is supposedly the evil queen because she made dark spells and married a monster, but does that really truly make her evil? Now yes, I, I personally don't think that that makes her evil. That's just having different opinions on what you think 
and like about other people and monsters I guess in this case but yeah thank you for your comment this video is already getting super long so I'm just pretty much just gonna give read them out loud for you guys let you guys is uh, brain flow a little bit also up in the comment there it was it's pretty funny because it's it says eclipse of that I n and it registered it as a like a website <laughs> I just thought that was funny it's not actually a website but it's it, I thought that was funny that it registered it now this next one is from potato con at Aiden for eclipse of, I am not sure but one thing happened Rage Pigeon doing the sword hand dance so they may have a link I don't know if she wants Marco to take the wand for now she already teased Star for doing things. She didn't control her, but she showed the path to follow. And knowing that the sailor painting talked to Marco when it was the Blood Moon Ball, is she behind it? The first version of the story, Star and Marco wasn't supposed to be friends. Lots of people said that maybe Star, Marco, souls were bonded, but not to become a couple. More for the destiny that they are in. Awakening maybe the dead of Meteora, I would guess. Now thank you for your comment, Potato Kung. Or Kun, I, I don't really know, alright? <laughs> now this next one is from Ray J. At Aiden, I think she's trying to corrupt Star's power so that when Star turns to a butterfly form, she turns evil and Eclipsa will get the wand and control all the monsters on Muni. Yet starts a war, because you know the Battle of Muni says battle, not war, and Eclipse is more powerful than Tafi, obviously. So she may start a war to try to take over Muni or the castle and bring her husband back. But of course, I don't think she is this evil, but you said true plan, and that I wanted to write about if she had an evil plan. Now thank you, Ray J. I really like this idea, but I think they're already in a war that was just one battle of the war. I think the war is trying to get humans and monsters together. I mean, I don't know, that, that might just be my opinion, you guys might have another one, so you can tell me down in the comment what you think. Alright, so this next one is from Roa WK Pathless. At 8. For Eclipse's play, I think that she does not really have one, besides for living with the love of her life, the monster, and just discovered dark magic because of her philosophy of all knowledge is good knowledge. I know this makes a horrible theory, but it makes the most sense in my opinion. Now actually, this is probably one of the more accurate ones, like as a theory can go, because we don't know too much about Eclipsa, and I think that this personally just makes so much more sense than everything else at this point in time. Because right now she doesn't seem evil at all. We haven't really... The only thing that tr like actually might make her evil is the dark magic. But other than that, she doesn't seem evil at all. But yeah, thanks for your comment. Let's move on. Now this next one is from Saul Gaming. I think that Eclipse's goal is to either turn Star evil or just be good because she has helped Star before. So maybe another thing is maybe she's waiting for her husband to come back and take over Muni. There have been a lot of people who have said this stuff. Now this next one is from Savvy. So for me, Eclipse is very interesting because she has been left quite vague. We know that she is married to a monster and we have yet to have a single instance of him being brought up. Eclipse doesn't seem to be worried about him or anything like that which I find peculiar. I'll come back to this in a moment, but it's also worth pointing out that she has yet to undergo any action that makes her seem evil. But I feel that this is almost too much of a lost opportunity to have her be all good. I think that she will be a great help to Star in her attempts in bonding humans and monsters. It is pretty much a given since we already know how she stands on this. I think that this will probably likely be an event that happens very close to her trial and will probably be a major factor in her jurisdiction. Now as for Eclipse's plan, I believe that she will probably want her freedom. She never seemed too intent on being empowered or having responsibilities, so she wouldn't want any part of the kingdom as far as I'm concerned. Her playfulness does not seem fake in any way. My reason for this is pure joy she gets from Marco, sword hand dance. As for her husband, I feel that she may know where or what's going on with him, and this is why she's not worried and her husband will begin to play a major idea in the show at Aiden. Now thank you, Sevi, for your awesome comment. Super long. I, I think we're gonna have to change up the rules on how I take in submissions or something maybe just by putting a cap because this video is going to be super long now this next one is from shamir daz the commission said that eclipse can control minds so i can only imagine her controlling marco in the future she also might make another deal with him or something else this is absolutely something that i want to see in the future i want to see eclipse and marco like interacting in some way 
I just think that that's so cool, and I love that the way the two intermix because of the sword hand dance incident, it's just so funny. I love Eclipse as a character, and I love Marco as a character, and together, not ship together, guys, just like, as a friendship together, alright? Uh, you know what? Never mind. Just let's move on to the next one. Now this next one is from Shuki. Hey, hey, to answer your question, I think that Eclipse doesn't have a plan. She's just trying to enjoy her time of the freedom before getting frozen again. I think that it would be even more interesting, if that was the case, to have her think that she is doomed either way and that the trial is just for show. Have the Grand Council misinterpret and misunderstand every word she says as some kind of evil intention or threat and show her actually losing the trial when Star comes in vouching for her as an unpaid lawyer in a way and they would actually end up winning in the trial. The whole ordeal would kind of renew her faith in the fact that she will finally have someone on her side for once and that maybe she has a chance to regain some of the respect and prestige that she had originally lost. This could also give her, give her the resolve she needs to help Star when Meteora finally decides to strike. Thus, Star gains a new powerful ally. Now, thank you, Shuki, for your idea. I do like the idea of Star bursting into the trial, being like, hey, this isn't a fair trial or something like that. I think Morpher suggested that. I mean, I might be wrong, but I think someone suggested that in another theory, and I think that that's super cool. Now, this last one is from Twin Boy 1995 Hey, I think Eclipse's true plans are simple. She's not as evil as everyone plans her to be because she hasn't proven anything to me to say that she's pure evil. The only thing I've seen her do is give Star advice when Marco came back and gave her the idea to learn about her new powers on her own. And look what happened. She can now control her butterfly form at will. Not even her own mother can do that. I think Moon can control the butterfly form on her own. I'm not, I'm pretty sure she can. I mean, we've seen it happen before. But, um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for your comment. But anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you guys did enjoy, then you can leave a like and subscribe. And thanks again to Sunset and Starlight, our best waifu, for suggesting this idea. And if you guys want more, then just leave a like on the video. Tell me what you guys think, and leave your comments on suggestions for video ideas. I definitely think that I will be putting a cap on this, and if it's a video idea that I share with everyone, like, that you guys as the viewers can respond to in the comments, then I think I'm gonna put a cap on 5 and 5. 5 for the comments and 5 for the Discord, and the first 5 that I see will be entered on or something, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye! Is this safe? Yeah, I'll be fine.